Bible in the name of Jesus Christ. As we approach the end, uh, remember that uh, you are supposed to be strong in prayers. So today we want to talk about the spirit of laziness. Uh, you have to stop the spirit of laziness, right? Sometimes in the book of Proverbs they say you are supposed to actually go to the ends and watch how the ends operate. They are always busy, you see. They are always gathering something, you know. They gather in summer so that when winter comes they've got something to eat, right? So, uh, my brother, we want to talk about the, the spirit of laziness, you know. It's not normal, right? Sometimes you rise up, you feel like you just want to sleep, right? Remember, if you are lazy, if your hands are lazy, right, you won't get anything. Poverty is going to pursue you, right? You have the ability. God gave you two hands. You are not even disabled. Even some disabled people, they are working. You are not disabled. So you have to fight the spirit of laziness. Nothing comes when you are sitting. You have to do something, you know. But there is certain things that actually promote the spirit of laziness. Remember, uh, people, they are confused, right? You wake up, you don't even know what to do. You just wake up and you don't even know what am I going to do. You understand? So, uh, you have to you have a vision. You have to look for your purpose. Why did God really created you? Why did God created you? Uh, there is nothing good about being lazy. You are not supposed to be lazy. Like laziness, it comes from distraction. Uh, it comes from procrastination, whereby you are just pushing things tomorrow. You are just saying, I will do it tomorrow, I will do it tomorrow, I will do it tomorrow. Others, uh, they become lazy because there is no one who is recognizing you. Your family is, is not even recognizing you. Maybe you are doing something good, but then your family is not even recognizing you. So from there, you will see that uh, you start uh, saying, no, there is no need for me to keep on doing this because you are not being recognized. You are not being recognized at work. You are not being recognized uh, uh, for, your, for the good deeds that you are actually doing. Right. So you end up saying, I'm not going to do anything. Uh, you are 50 now. You are approaching 40. You have nothing to show up. You are approaching 30. You have nothing to show up. Right. So you have to make a step of faith. Right. People will not always give you the attention. People will not always give you their time. People, uh, they expect to receive than to give. People are expecting something from you. <laughs> you think me, people, they will give you time. Think it's, 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 it's very, it takes, it takes time for people to give you their time. It takes time for people to even listen to you. It takes time for people to even give you attention. You understand? So don't wait for people. Don't look for people's attention. You are you. Right. Do, don't wait for people to recognize you. Work hard. If you work hard, one day people, they will recognize you. I remember when I was in my country in Zimbabwe. You know, I was a hard worker. You know, I was a hard worker. I could work, you know, even like uh, my mother, she could actually feel pity for me. Because like, uh, I was, uh, you know, my, my dad had passed away. You know, I wanted to send myself to school. I wanted to be just like others, you know. I, I had this passion that, you know, I have to go on and on. So, like, I, I could work, you know, and I became uh, in my neighborhood, you know, I became the, the center of attraction, you know. Anyone who want anything would approach me, whether it's clothes, whether it's food, you know. I started, like, getting attention, you know. Everyone who wants something would say, like, let us go and see, teach me, you know. 
So it was through hard working. And I inspired a lot of people because uh, during that time, the area that I was living, I was uh, surrounded by people. Uh, I'm not, I cannot actually say like they were poor, right? But they, they had things, but they never had like the ability to convert what they have into money. You understand? So I had to inject this idea, you know, and I started discovering that uh, this household is now doing the same style that I'm doing. That household is doing the same style that I'm actually doing. So you have to do something to help God. You understand? You have to do something so that God can help you. God should find a point of uh, reaching you. Right. So you have to be a hard worker. You have to wake up and pray. You have to refuse the spirit of laziness. If you continue holding your arms, uh, nothing will actually uh, come to you. You not have to continue uh, holding your arms. Uh, you have to do something. And then after you do something, everything is going to be all right. Uh, no one is, is perfect. Everybody uh, is actually working on his uh, perfection. So uh, you have to know that each and every day you are supposed to work your perfection. Nobody is perfect. Right. And then from there, if you work your perfections, everything is going to be what? It's all right. Uh, we know everyone is on social media. We spend a lot of hours on social media, right, following other people. I'm not saying it's not good to follow other people. But at the end of the day, you are supposed to actually ask yourself, right, I was on social media. What I was doing, did I actually add value to what I was doing? or I did not add any value. So, uh, whatever you do, you are supposed to be responsible, right? And then you have to make sure that uh, every day you are doing something that can actually improve through you. So, the only way that you can actually connect to God is through prayers. You have to rise and pray. You have to go to God. You know, God doesn't give you provisions. You're right. You have to go and say to God, you are my father. I don't have any way to go. You are my provider. I believe in you. You are the only one who can provide. I don't have any other hand. I don't have any other conduct. You know, God said you work something good for you. You do something. You give you provisions. Right. Remember in Leviticus. Leviticus 25 verse 21. God is assuring you that I will send you provisions. Be assured that I will send you a blessing that will even last for three years. Remember, uh, just imagine that if you get a blessing that can last for three years, you know, getting food, you know. So the moment you start to pray, you begin to activate your miracles right you begin to activate your miracles our god that we are talking about is a supernatural god is a god that is fair is a god uh, who didn't created us to suffer is a god who wants you to be prosperous so uh, what i'm saying is like you have to apply the word of god you have to take the word of god serious and God will release you. He will connect you to your blessers. He will send someone. He will connect you to the rightful people. He will connect you to the rightful connections. He will send people that will lift you up. So you have to know that uh, God can provide you. There are angels of your destiny that are waiting for you. But you can only unlock it through prayer. Right? And fasting. Right? Sometimes when things are not moving, a lot of people, they procrastinate. They say, I'm going to fast tomorrow. I'm going to fast next week. But if you are actually experiencing a problem, you have to make sure that you fast. Right? If you fast, uh, Jesus even said, there are some things that need fasting. They don't only need prayers. They also need fasting. Right? So you have to go in your inner room. You talk to God. You say, God, I need your help. I really need your help. Holy Spirit, I want your help. You will start seeing changes in your life. I thank you so much. Uh, I invite you to subscribe to our channel, Tichawana Edward, Commercial Staff. Uh, we help each other to pray. We strengthen each other.
we are not saying that we are perfect human beings but we work on our perfection each and every day we try to improve we try to make our next day better in the name of jesus i bless you all i love you all pray for me i will pray for you have a festive season and have a very brand new 2022